Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm gonna record a quick tutorial on how to upgrade Ubuntu 18.04 LTS server to the latest Ubuntu 20.04, which officially has only been out a couple of days. It's very easy to do. I'm gonna take you through it step by step. Yeah, and hopefully you should find this of use if this is something you're looking to do. First of all, we're gonna check what version we're on and also what kernel we're on. So we can do that simply enough by just type in this LSB release flag A. And as you can see, I'm on 18.04 LTS version. If I wanna check what my kernel is, more for verification for after, you can just enter the following command, you name flag misses. And you can see that I'm on Linux version 4.15 or kernel 4.15. Right, so to begin with, let's just go through and update the packages on the current system. The sudo for this, as you can see, I'm a TF2. <laughs> I'm a TF2 lover. So it's just gonna check what packages we've got here. Right, so 57 packages can be upgraded. If you wanna see what those packages are, it's quite easy. You can just do upgrade list, flag, flag, upgradable. And that lists everything there, which is, uh, you know, potentially you can upgrade. But anyway, let's go through and upgrade them. Pseudo apps upgrade. Oh, do I want to upgrade? Yes, I do. And that's going to bring down all the most recent files. Once we've upgraded, I would recommend that you just do a quick restart. I'll speed this up for you so you don't have to wait for it all. Now that that's complete, let's do a quick reboot. So once you've rebooted, the next step is going to be to remove all the packages that are no longer needed. There's a few there, let's get rid of them. The next thing we need to do is we need to install the update manager. Well, update the update manager, if that makes sense, which we can do by using the following command, sudo apt install update manager. Cool. Okay, that's all right. Now we actually get to the upgrade part do release upgrade oh there's no development version of that available sorry guys i just need to add this flag to it do i want to continue with my upgrade yes i do i am connected over ssh uh, although I do have access to the machine physically if there's a problem. So I'm happy moving forward. Want to make recovery? No, again, I'm happy just to go forward. And now we have to wait. So that's going to pull down the most recent version. And then that should go through and upgrade my files. This part of the upgrade process is going to probably take about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'll speed this up. And then uh, I'll come back to you when there's a few command prompts so you can see what I pressed. It's just asking me again to confirm that I want to go through with the upgrade. Yes, I do. So this dialog box has just come up now. It's asking me, basically, am I happy to restart various services that are installed on my system i mean I'm, I'm more than happy with that i need to upgrade and probably restart the machine anyway so i just go ahead and just pick okay so now it's asking me if there if i want to go with a new sshd config file i'm actually going to keep the local version that i'm currently installed because i'm, I'm obviously sshing in um, I'm happy just to keep the local version. Uh, if anyone's got any reason why they'd want to do something different, I mean, put it in the comments, let's discuss. But I'm just going to go ahead with keep the local version. So the next warning box has come up. This is a LXD project. 
and it's just asking about what type of features do you want they've got i mean you can read it it says they've got monthly features that are backward compatible blah 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 it basically says lxd team recommends that you pick four for the production environment or you can use latest if you want to stay on the bleeding edge i'm happy to go with their recommendation i'm going to pick four so we hit okay And now the system's asking if we want to continue and just restart, which we will. And here we are, back to your server, upgraded. And just to verify, let's just check. LSB release, flag eight. And there you can see 20.04 LTS. And then let's check the kernel for good measure. And as you can see, we're now on Linux 5.4. And just as a final habit, which I always like to do, just to make sure that we're running everything up to date, which we should do. And there you go, guys. Nothing else needed to be updated or upgraded. And that's it. Uh, I hope you found the video useful. Uh, for those of you wanting to upgrade your LTS server, this uh, should hopefully help you out. I've also got a couple of other videos that might be of use. Uh, please check the channel, and if you could throw me a like or a subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Take care, guys. Cheers.